Okay, so today we're going to review the Havoc S1 from Valon. This is the third racket of the three rackets they have given me and that I have reviewed. And I'm going to again compare to the 100 ZXZ. Okay, so as you can see here, um, different from the other two rackets that was uh, all black or all white, right? This one has black with red design, logo, uh, no, not really logo, accent. I, I'm not so sure what you call it. But overall, it looks really quite nice, right? It's um, quite striking and it looks quite cool. I always find black rackets kind of cool. Right? And the logo is also 3D, right? This is what the logo looks like from the bottom. So let's bring it to the court, let's see how it performs there, and then we'll review it against the measurements that we have taken. So this is supposed to be a head heavy racket and as expected is effortless when I'm, I'm doing the lobbing shot. Right, so it's really easy to send the shutter across. The flexibility is also just nice uh, for me. And now as we go on to smashing, I'm really quite impressed with the performance of this racket. It comes quite close to the high level professional racket. While it doesn't have that sharp feeling but I can feel that the power is still being translated fairly well across. When it comes to the defensive shot, it feels a little bit heavy, right? It feels a little bit, it takes a bit more effort for, for me to get to the shot or get to where I want to place the racket. But when I do get there, if I do execute the shot, I'm very confident that it will get to as far as I want it to be or as high as I want it to be. In other words, although it's a bit heavy, the power that I get out of this racket is pretty good. right? I think this is a good racket for either a more offensive play or a more uh, overall balanced, all-round player kind of a racket. And I really, really have some interesting comparison, right? Or as I've been using these three rackets from Valon um, the last few months, I prefer Havoc over Flight simply because it gives me the power that I want, right? When I want to play a more offensive strategy. You know, I've always been using uh, Astrox 100 ZZ as a comparison model. What's really interesting is that when you look at the table over here, the numbers are pretty similar, okay? Other than the fact that the 100 ZZ has a super or uh, hyper sim shaft, take a look at this. The balance of the racket is exactly the same at 30.4. Right, the length of the racket is a 0.6 mm difference, right? One is 68 cm and the other one is 67.4. Okay, the length of the shaft is um, also quite different in this sense, right? The Havoc is a, a lot longer at 22.4, right? And uh, the Astrox 100 ZZ is at 20.6. Now, I want to say over here that the Astrox 100 ZZ has a, it is an outlier. It has a really, really short shaft, right? With a very, very long handle grip. Now, you look at the, the weight of the racket, the Havoc is slightly lighter than the 100 ZZ. Right, but look at the flexibility. It's only a 0.1 cm difference, right? Where the Havoc is 10.1 and the Astrox 100 ZZ is 10 cm. So what's similar over here is the balance of the racket, all right, the length of the racket is quite close and the flexibility uh, of the shaft is almost similar. And I think this could explain why I felt like the performance is, is very, very similar. Um, if I were to say what's the difference in the court though, the 100 ZZ feels a lot sharper when you smash or when you lock. I think that the sweet spot could be a bit smaller uh, for the 100 ZZ, um, but it does again uh, uh, perform much better if we hit the sweet spot. Yeah, so amongst all the rackets that I have, right, and you know that I, I buy all the latest rackets, I have the Nano Flare 700, 800, I have the Arc Saber 7 Pro, Arc Saber 11 Pro, I have the 88D, 88S, but guess what I'm using these days? I'm using the Havoc S1. So other than playing really, really competitive game, uh, most of the time I'm using this Havoc S1. And I think that says a lot about this racket. Okay, and I'll definitely recommend this uh, to my students and any one of you who's watching this video. If you want to find out more about them, you can click on this link below. So that's all for today's racket. I'll see you in the next video.